What's up everyone? Welcome back to Dibble Dabble. My name is Marissa and today's video we're going to be unboxing my March BoxyCharm. So if you're interested in to see what I got, please continue watching. Alrighty, so the BoxyCharm looks like this. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Alrighty, so the first item in my box is the Sutra Mini Curling Wand. This was the choice um, item. And it was between the curling wand, a um, Murad eye cream, and a QMS lip liner correction serum. And I chose the mini curling wand because I didn't need another eye cream and I also did not need the lip lining correction serum. So I got this. I know my hair is long. I It probably won't hold a curl from this, but I mainly got this for my daughter. I know she's only three right now, but I figured, hey, you know she could use it um, later on when she's older so that's the first thing that I got and it is in the color purple and this is what it looks like all right now the second thing I'm going to pull out is these hair uh, project beauty hair girt in almond honey and this is an intense repair yogurt hair mask and it helps repair damaged fragile and brittle hair which I do got, so I'm excited to use this. The only thing that I'm not going to be uh, using in my box is the hair girt. I will be um, putting this to the test in, later on in the video if you're interested in watching to see how it performs. Now the next thing I see is the Kat Von D Lash Liner in the shade Trooper Black. And this is what it looks like. Super cute. I'm kind of scared to use it because I don't do very good with my liner. Oh, wow. It's not a point. It's literally like a square. It's not a point. It's like a flat circle. I don't know if you can see. It's inner liquid eyeliner, so I'm guessing it's in here. Your waterline. I got to Google it see what um, what's it about and I'll put it to the test after I've done googling it alrighty the next thing I see is the vintage by Jessica Liebskin sparkling lip gloss and this is in the shade pink sequin we'll go ahead and put that to the test since I already have a liquid lip on alright this isn't your normal lip gloss wand it's more of like a little bristle brush. I don't know if you can tell. It's more of a bristle brush. So it doesn't pick up much of the product. It's really pretty though. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Shoot. Well, I actually like this one. You can line your lips really good with it. All right. From what I can see, it's not sticky at all. It's um, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Very hydrating on the lips. Makes them look really nice and plump. It didn't move around my liquid lip that I had on the bottom, so that was good. And it's not... It's not stringy at all. It's not sticking like I can move my lips. I don't feel like they're stuck together. They're really like... That's a nice lip gloss. That's super cute. That's going in my top bin for sure. Go ahead and put that right there. And then the last but not least, I do see the Living in Color palette. How many of y'all kept saying in living color? Because I know I did. Um, but it's the Hank and Henry Living in Color palette. And it looks like this. Package is very cute. Alrighty. It is a little thick. She a thick. That's okay. We love thick on this channel. 
and this is how she looks on the inside very pretty mm -hmm. nice mirror sorry that's all my stuff nice mirror it even comes with a little plastic on the mirror which we can go ahead and take that off now so now we're gonna go ahead and go in. My lids are already prepped with the um, with my concealer, so I'm gonna go ahead and we will, we will, we will. What do I wanna do? All right, there's no light transition color, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Rustige down here at the bottom. I'm gonna put that in my crease. That's actually really nice. Very pigmented. That's a pretty color. All right, now I'm gonna go in with actually that's it. I think I'm gonna go in with the. I want to really try this purple and that sultry sin. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that one all over my lid, and I'm just gonna use my finger. see that all right let's go in with a little bit with the also we're gonna go in with the fosha 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 <laughs> we're gonna go in with fosha whatever that means hey everyone future me <laughs> two, in, two in the morning and I'm editing this video and please do not mind me saying faux sha when it, and just snap that it's fuchsia. <laughs> I'm me not knowing how to read. So enjoy the rest of the video video of me saying faux sha. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with this elf um everyday sea brush. Pick up some of that pink. I'm gonna put some right here. I'm gonna go in with the La Canela, which is this gold looking shade. I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner. Along on top of that where we put faux shot at. Okay, so we got that purple right here into faux sha, also a little bit faux sha, but more purple on top of it. And then we have the la canela in the middle. And for the bottom of the eyelash, I'm gonna, um, sorry, for my bottom eye, I'm gonna go back in with Rustige. Dust that off, remember, because it's pigmented. Smoke that out. Just a smidge. Yep. 
let me swatch some for you real quick. So, let's do this arm. We got Okay, we got Sultry Sin. We have Faux Shaw. We have Petticock. <laughs> These names, bruh. Sorry, I messed up on that swatch. I get some more. That's the first row. Then we got this is the middle row with all the mats. So, and those are pretty, pretty good. So we got what's this one? Drag gun blood. Then we have Rosalinda. Ooh. And then we have Boy's Toy. And that looks like this. They look okay. I'm not very good at swatches. That's what it's looking like so far. Now we're going to go in with the bottom row, and that's going to be... Prestige, which is the last mat in this palette. La Canela and Mariana Trench. Which is is that brown or is that just colliding? Hold on, let me see. Here, let me swatch it on this side. Supposed to be blue, so this is what they look like. Swatched on my arm. Alrighty, let's continue. So we got. Sorry, let me open it up. Okay, so we have Vestige in our crease, also a lower lash line, and then we went in with Sultry Sin all over the lid, Faux Shaw on the outer corner and the inner corner just a little bit right here and then we went on top of the fascia on the inner corner with La Canela and then we also put a little bit of that sultry sin just on the bottom of the lash line um and we blend it out with Restige which was the brown looks a little crazy I know let me put on some mascara and then I will be back to do the liner and we'll be right back Alrighty, so now I'm back and I did my mascara and now we're going to go in with the lash liner from Kat Von D. Now I had to Google <laughs> how to do this, but it's literally just a liquid liner for your waterline. So we're going to go ahead and go in. I am taking off some of the excess product. Okay. And now wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to use the camera. Oh, God, that's sketchy. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so scared. Okay. Oh God, I'm so scared. Okay. Oh, that kind of burns. Ow, why does that burn? Okay, hold on, sorry. Maybe because I'm not used to it. We'll see. Okay, got one eye done. Let's do the next eye. I'm gonna dip it in again. I'm just gonna go around and barely get the tip of it with product. My eye's a little red, I'm sorry. Okay, now this side. That's not from the eyeliner, that's from my mascara. We're letting it dry. But I fucked up. Sorry. I mean, oh shit. Okay, hopefully we can scratch it off like mascara. We'll see. It's really pretty though. get more in on this side. Okay. Okay. Shoot. Not bad, Kevin D. Or KVD Beauty. Not bad, not bad. I still got to fix that, but it's okay. My thoughts on the palette. I still got to play around with it. I'm not used to all the color, but my eye look did come out really pretty, I think. But as far as like the purple, the pink, the brown, that really did um, come out really good. I really like it. And then the eyeliner. I'm surprised. I like it. It looks really good. It's gonna take me some time to get used to it. I usually don't use black in my waterline. I mean, it does look really good. It looks like if I did just use a pencil, but like more dark pencil. Um, you know, like whenever you use the the eyeliner pencils and then like you burn it and then you put it on. That's that's the effect that it gives me. You can barely tell that it, that anything's even on your eye. As far as like the burning sensation that I felt. It was the brush tip, I guess, because I cleaned it off too much. Maybe, I'm not too sure, but it's the brush tip that I was feeling on my liner, um, on my inner lash line. Maybe you can see it, you see those little bristles right there? Is what I was feeling, so it was mainly the brush, not the liquid, but it's just gonna take some time to get used to it. I will use this again, I will continue using it. I really like the way it looks in my waterline. I really like the way it lined my eyes. It did a really good job. Now, this was user error right there. I was trying to hold my mirror and my liner all in one hand and I accidentally went too far and then I messed it up, but I'll go ahead and scrape that off. But as far as my liner looking, it looks pretty good. As far as the wear time on this, I will update the description box to let you know if it lasted till the nighttime or if it fell off, anything like that, crumbled, how how does it wear? I'll let you know. What else did we get? The lip gloss, I really love it. Looks really good, not drying. 
still moves uh, like my lips are still able to move they're not sticking it's not taking off my liquid lip it looks really good I really love that lip gloss as far as the hair girt I'm not going to use this right now but when I do use it I will update the description box to let you know what happened with my hair how my hair feels last month we did get these hemp wipes and I told you I was going to update the description box but since I'm ready here um, I do use these a lot they are refreshing wipes so if I feel like the next day I wake up in the morning and I feel a little oily I'll go ahead and wipe my face with the refreshing um, with the refreshing wipes and then as far as the facial radiance pads I do use them after I cleanse my face after I use my cleanser to cleanse my face I go in with the toner pad next and then I will continue on with my skincare routine but I really do like it they do get out product um, that your cleanser missed they get it out of your face so that that works good as far as tone and brighten I'm still in the process of using them so I really haven't had a chance to really notice a difference now let's get into the review for the sutra mini one okay change of scenery now we're in my bathroom sorry for the echo and let's go ahead and try to curl my hair <laughs> so i don't know if i just want to take a piece real quick we'll take one from back here Take a little piece. We'll just see how that goes. Okay. Put on my trusty, <laughs> my trusty glove, which is a sock that I use because my original curling iron or my curling wand that I use is this one, which I converted it into a curling wand. It was a curling iron at first. But let's go ahead and go in with this.
wow just just wow and then out and now this is my hair well damn I am impressed if I do say so myself I don't know if you're impressed but I'm pretty impressed this curling one is no joke. My daughter's just gonna have to find me for it when she gets older. <laughs> she can have the big one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now, um, wow, I'm just super shocked at how it came out. It came out really, 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 really nice. And that's how I curl my hair really quick. I put it up and I just do the ends. And this is how it came out. Final thoughts on the curling one. I am super shocked, super in love with it. It really curled my hair really, really nice. And I have long hair. It works and it did really, really well. Even that first curl that I did before um, I tied up my hair, it curled it really good. So I really enjoyed it. And that's it for now. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below, click the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you on the next time when it's Dibble Dabble time. Bye!